Hello and welcome to the channel, it's me Chris Brooks, I hope everyone's well. I want to show you a clip now, and it's a clip of a bloke, and I don't know how um, legit it is in the sense that I don't know how these machines work. So if anybody who is an engineer can yay or nay it in the comment section, it'd be quite interesting to know what the actual facts are. But I want to play you this clip, and it's him going around with one of these meters measuring electromagnetic field and they all seem to be quite high so I'll play you that clip and then we will come back and I will read what the World Health Organization has to say so enjoy it the Peugeot 208 electric which I have to say is a really nice car I've owned the 208 before this is a great car great chassis works well but this is the electric version so now what i'm testing is the emissions coming off the battery and you can see there it's incredibly unhealthy you've got massive electromagnetism which is in the unhealthy range i mean this is the off the scale off the scale let's just put it on the seat see what difference that makes because this is where you'd be sitting in the back and you can see it's still off the scale pretty much let's take it to the front seat so this is the front seat now so this is an absolute disaster if anybody wants to do anything long term, like a long drive in this and be in the car for several hours, that's if the range allows you to do it, of course. You're looking at very, very unhealthy, dangerous levels of electromagnetic frequencies which are hitting your body. Now, this is different to the mobile and Wi-Fi and that kind of thing. This is electromagnetic frequencies hitting you. That's an interesting demonstration. A nice car. That is dangerous. So yeah, that was all quite interesting, wasn't it? So here's what the, uh, the WHO have to say. Lowest electromagnetic field. According to the World Health Organization, there is no definitive evidence that typical environmental levels of magne electromagnetic fields (EMFs) cause adverse health effects. However, some studies suggest that EMF exposure higher than 0.4 microtesla may be associated with increased health risks, such as doubling of the risk of leukemia in children. Health Canada's safety code 6 specifies exposure limits based on the lowest exposure level at which any scientifically established adverse health effect occurs, aiming to protect against both thermal and non-thermal health effects. I don't know what any of that means. I just thought I'd share that because it's quite interesting. It came across my news feed, so I thought I would share it with you guys. Look after yourselves, take care, and I'll speak to you all again soon. Time for a coffee. Bye.